let's now look at present value the present value well obviously that is the value of a sum of money as it is today but also it is the sum of money that we need to invest today to arrive at a known sum in the future so for example you know that uh, in order to pay for a car or some fees or an installment you have a known future value 5 lakh at a known point of time in the future how much do you need to invest today to arrive at that known future value that is the present value present value is a very critical concept uh, it's used as i've mentioned before widely so if you look at today's value right as i've already mentioned earlier at some point of time t in the future uh, as money earns value it turns into the future value a process called compounding now when we know the future value in order to arrive at uh, the present value that is today's value by the same time period t the process is called discount because we strip the future value of its earnings or we discount it to arrive at the present value now we know the formula for future value which is pv uh, present value into 1 plus r raised to t similarly future value you just divide it by that factor 1 plus r raised to t the same rules that is r and t must be in the same units um, that rule holds let's look at an example to illustrate this yeah. so i'm using an example uh, which is there in the um, uh, in the courseware so a pension fund manager must pay out funds of INR 1 crore 6 years from now. There you go, we have the future value and we have the time period. Assuming an annual interest rate of 7% must be earned on any investment made today, how much must he invest today to realize that INR 1 crore in 6 years? So we know the future value, we are being asked what is the present value of that INR 1 crore? So let's use this little table. Uh, we have 1 crore, which is 100 lakhs. What is R? It is 7.5%. Um, I'm just formatting the, the cell. Then what is T? 6. So therefore, what's the present value? It is the future value divided by 1 plus R, right? Which we will now raise to the time period T. And tell me, do you think it will be less or more than the future value? Remember, we're discounting it. So it will be less. And there you go. Uh, six years uh, Later, 64.79 lakh turns into a crore, assuming that it is earning 7.5% per annum. Okay, so this is the present value, this is the future value. Um, we arrive at a crore from 64.79 lakhs by compounding, we arrive at the reverse by discounting. Let's look at another example. So a builder has two sets of apartments, Ganga and Jamuna. Both are identical in every respect, they're just beside each other. Ganga is complete, but the work on Jamuna has just started flowing. So for an apartment in Ganga, you have to pay 55.5 lakh for immediate purchase. For Jamuna, it's an installment payment schedule and um, this is the payment schedule that today you pay 7.5 lakh, 6 months later 15, 6 months after that 17.5 and uh, then in the 18th month 20 lakh. Which one is cheaper? Well, if I look at the two numbers, uh, it seems apparent. But this leads us to a very important concept. When you are looking at money at different points of time, you cannot compare them. 
you can only compare cash flows which are at the same point of time typically we compare cash flows uh, we compare the cash flows as of their value today that is we compare the present value of two cash flows now for ganga i already have the present value right 55.5 lakh but for jamuna i do not have the present value i have the value split into different points of time in the future therefore this apparent summation 60 is not the same as summing all these as of today right in other words if i were to make a lump sum payment for jamuna today like i'm doing for ganga what would that lump sum payment be in order to find that out we need to present value all of these future cash flows right so let's do that um, can you tell me what would be the present value of 7.5 lakh it's 7.5 because this is getting paid uh, right now it's already present values present valued now if i look at 15 lakh very clearly i need to present value it by six months right so my t is in units of six months therefore let me take an r of six months too but hey where is the r what is the r we need to take or what is the discounting rate now that is uh, an important question when it comes to present valuing we take an R which is relevant to the situation. What does that mean? Now, in this particular case, let us say that instead of investing in uh, Jamuna, you are, um, your money is sitting in a fixed deposit which is giving you 10% per annum. So, therefore, let us use that as um, our discount rate, 10% per annum and find out uh, what the present value is so this 10 percent per annum uh, we have to take a six monthly rate or five percent for every six months so i'm going to present value my 15 lakh divided by one plus 0 0.05 right that's five percent raised to six no raised to one because it is one six monthly period and we get the present value of 15 lakh uh, similarly we can i'm just going to drag this and replace the one by two because we have two six monthly periods uh, and three six monthly periods and then sum it all up and that will give you the lump sum equivalent of uh, the lump sum equivalent of um, a Jamuna repayment and there you go this is the present value and let me just reduce the decimal places so it's 54.94 lakhs so actually with Jamuna you are paying less than for Ganga and you have the advantage of paying in installments so this is equivalent to or can be compared to this so this is a lump sum present value payment for Jamuna it can the same thing can be expressed as installments over a period over a period of 18 months so this is the same as paying out 54.94 lakh today, right? Uh, so we've learned two important lessons. One is that present value is um, the value which is invested today to arrive at a known cash flow in the future. We need uh, to calculate it by dividing it by one plus R raised to T. And second, and that will lead us to our next concept which is NPV that money at different points of time has different values if you want to compare 
uh, a sum of money one year from now and a sum of money six months from now you can't do that unless you bring both of them to the present that is unless you discount both of them so uh, when you have cash flows at different points of time and you're comparing them you need to bring all the cash flows to the present a process which is called discounting and you need to use an appropriate uh, rate which is called the discount rate and the next concept we will talk about therefore is a concept called net present value or NPV.